treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us and cleanse us from every blemish, and save our souls, O blessed one, holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us, holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us, holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us of our sins. O Master, for your transgressions. O Holy One, come to us in your infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, Amen. Amen, O Lord God our King. Amen, O Lord Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us adore and bow down to Christ Himself, our King and our God. O Lord, give heed to my righteousness, attend to my supplication, consider my prayer, which does not come from dishonest lips. Let my judgment sue directly from your attention. Let my eyes behold uprightness. Have proved my heart, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me with fire and found no righteousness in me. O that my mouth might not speak about the accomplishments of humankind. I have struggled on hard paths for the sake of the words of your lips. Set my footsteps in your paths, and my steps may not falter. I have cried out to you because you have heard me. O oh God, listen in my favor and hear my words. Let your mercies be made wonderful, O Lord, who saved those who hope in you. Those who have resisted your strength, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye and the shelter of your wings protect me from the pretense of the ungodly who oppress me. My enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouths have voiced their against. They who have cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes to look askance upon the earth. They have taken me as my divine ready for its prey. And my divine's wealth that looks in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, your sword from your enemies. O Lord, from your chosen ones, separate them from the earth during their life. Indeed, they have filled themselves with your hidden treasures. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their children. But as for me, I shall appear in righteousness before you. I shall be filled when your glory is made manifest to me. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul, but my God in you I have trusted. Let me never be ashamed, nor let my enemies ridicule me. Indeed, let none who wait upon you be ashamed. Let them be ashamed who are lawless without cause. Make your ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, for I have waited upon you all day long. Remember your compassions, O Lord, and your mercies, for they are everlasting. Disregard the sins and ignorance of my youth. Remember me according to your mercy, O Lord, for the sake of your goodness. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will settle off for those who sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for those seeking to fulfill his covenant and the confirmation of his love. For the sake of your name, O Lord, be gracious to my sin, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will set him aloft in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among the things, and his offspring shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant 
shall be evident to them if my eyes are ever towards the Lord, or it is he who will draw my feet out of the snare, look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one who is only begotten and poor, the afflictions of my heart are multiplied, deliver me from want, give all my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins, and look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied and they have hated me unjustly, preserve my soul and rescue me, and let me not be ashamed for hoping in you. The innocent and the upright have come to me because I waited on you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity, and my sin is continually before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil before you, that you might be justified in your words, and prevail when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, who have loved truth, the hidden and secret things of your wisdom, you have made clear to me. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash for me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones of heaven humble shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. For you can pardon me, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and with your governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgression your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltness, O God, for the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With over and offerings, you shall not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and a good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, to oblation of whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer calves upon your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We then
most holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us of our sins. O Master, forgive our transgressions. O Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever.
Lord, Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan Gregory, for our esteemed priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the honorable government of our country, for all civil authority and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city, village, and country, and for those who in faith dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord.
through the Holy Spirit, now and ever and Oh uh-huh. 
we live our Orthodox faith? Do we realize that, yes, God has become like us so we can become like God? Not that we can become God, but we could become like Him. We could work through our, through our fasting, through our prayer, through our almsgiving, through all the things that we do, through living a life in Christ, we can live a life like Christ. Are we, are we giving of ourselves? Are we willing to, are we, are we willing to live our Orthodox faith day in and day out, no matter who, no matter where we are, who we are with, or what we are doing? Does everything we do reflect our faith? If not, throughout this life, we have some changes to make. We have some. We have some alterations to make within our life. We have to turn our lives again back to Christ as we do every single Lenten season that we, that we strive to go back. As the prodigal son returned home, we too strive to come home. Because throughout the year we slip and we fall and we make our mistakes and we kind of drift. We kind of drift away as, as the year goes on. But this is the time that we need to return to the roots of our Orthodox faith. It's not just a show. It's not just something that we, that we show to the world, but it's something that we must live. If we show to show it correctly, we need to live it. We need to live it through our prayer. We need to live it through, we need it to show it the way we live our lives. Does our life reflect our Orthodox faith? Do we pray? Does our life reflect our prayer? Does our life reflect the words of our prayer? Do we live the orthodoxy that we proclaim today? And that's the question, that, that's the question, again, it's one of those that we can only answer for ourselves. But do we live our orthodox faith? Not just, not just something that we put on a shelf and we like to show off, but that we keep internally that we live it internally, that we live it inside of us in everything that we do. That's how we live our Orthodox faith. That's how we proclaim the triumph of Orthodoxy every single day. For the Orthodoxy doesn't just triumph. It's not just a day that we commemorate on the first Sunday of Lent. But the triumph of Orthodoxy is, should be for us every single day. Every day do we live that triumph of our faith. So let us go forth from here. Even though this year in the, in the, in the D.C. area we weren't, because of conflicting days and everything else on the calendar, we weren't able to get a Sunday of Orthodoxy Vespers together for this afternoon. Just because we're not able to, just because we're not gathering to celebrate in that way, still doesn't mean that we do not celebrate our faith. Still doesn't mean that we don't have that opportunity for the rest of this week and every week after that and, every, and after that and after that and after that to live our orthodoxy and to show the world that orthodoxy is, that, that the triumph of orthodoxy is something that is real because this is the faith that has established the universe. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to be forever. Let us say with our whole soul and with all our mind, let us say, O oh, Lord, have mercy, O oh, Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray to you for us and have a nature of Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, for our most reverend Nicholas Gregory, for our spiritual fathers, for all of the clergy, for all of our brethren in Christ, for their welfare, peace, health, salvation, and for the remission of their sins, and that the Lord our God may prompt and help them in all things. Lord, have mercy.
offering, to all their petitions, and pardon all their sins committed deliberately because of human frailty. Let their prayers and charitable deeds be acceptable before the throne of your majesty. Protect them from all their enemies, both visible and invisible, from every misfortune, distress, or affliction. Deliver them from illness, grant them out and long life. Let us say, O oh Lord, hear us and graciously have mercy.
Christ, I ask you, be your forgiveness. Yeah. 
your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, our God and Father, was well pleased to be born of, the, of a woman, the holy birth giver of God through a Virgin Mary. He was born under the law, so that he might condemn sin in his own flesh, so that those who died in Adam might be made alive in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us commandments for salvation, and released, he released us from the delusions of idolatry, and brought us to the knowledge of you, true God and Father. He procured us for himself as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. Having purified us with water, he sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as a ransom to death by which we were held captive, being sold into slavery by sin. He descended into the realm of death through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself. He loosed the bonds of death and rose again from the dead on the third day, for it was not possible that the author of life should be conquered by corruption. In this way, he made the way of the resurrection of the dead of all flesh. Thus he became the first fruits of the harvest of the departed, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be first in all ways among all things. Ascending into heaven, he sits at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he shall come again to reward each man according to his deeds. He left us these memorials of his saving passion, these which we have set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go to his voluntary and rememberable and life-giving death, on the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, most pure hands and presented it to you, O God and Father, and gave thanks and blessed and sanctified it and broke it. And he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Thank you. 
God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Who poured forth for the life of the world. Amen. Amen. Spirit, 
now and ever, and forever. Amen. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. We commemorate all the saints again and again in these last pray to the Lord.
we are blessed together with your all holy, gracious, and liberating spirit, now and ever and forever.
days and shall cleanse you of all your sins. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance.
sing. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. sanctification, healing of our souls and bodies. Mm -hmm. O Master of all, grant that the communion of the Holy Body and Blood of your Christ may provide us with a faith that cannot be shaken, a love that does not pretend, a wisdom that is complete, with a cure for all our spiritual and bodily ills, with a defense against every adversary, with a willingness to observe all you have taught us, and finally with the answer, with the right answer to the judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you do we render glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Sponsoring their Eastern Seaboard Lenten Retreat 
at Holy Ghost Church in Phoenixville on Saturday the 6th of April. Online registration is open until tomorrow, <coughs> excuse me, until the end of the day tomorrow, the 25th of March. Um, word is that attendance is kind of on the small side, so uh, they really need, uh, we really need people to go up. Uh, if you can make it on that day, on the 6th, please go up. It should be a very <coughs> wonderful program. Um, and the details have been emailed out to you. Uh, the flyer is on the bullet board, uh, so please make sure you register by tomorrow. Uh, we need coffee social hosts for the month of April. Please make sure you fill those out today so that the uh, so that I can put those on the April calendar, which will be handed out. Uh, excuse me, which will be handed out next Sunday. Uh, please keep in mind that last for Saturday, the uh, 27th of April. Uh, will be our uh, uh, will be our annual uh, spring cleaning day, uh, liturgy for the feast of the raising of Lazarus at 9:30, and then church cleaning starting about somewhere around 11 o'clock or so, 10 quarter, 10:30, 10:45, 11 o'clock somewhere in there, and continue until we are done sometime in the middle afternoon. In the middle of the afternoon, there will be a uh, sign up sheet on the bulletin be on the bulletin board beginning next week. Uh, if you cannot come on the 27th, but you can come on another day to fill one of the tasks on the sheet, uh, please do so by that, uh, by some, by that uh, date of April 27th. Uh, if there are any questions, please talk to uh, Mark Sudik, the curator, and uh, let us all work together to, uh, to keep our church beautiful. And finally this morning, the Social Concerns Ministry is again organizing a canned food drive for Mana Food Center of Montgomery County. Uh, the boxes are listed downstairs with their particular categories. Please stick to the items on the list. Remember, nothing in glass. Um, and those are the things that the food pantry is, uh, is in need of. So that will be going on until Sunday, the 21st of April, Mary of Egypt Sunday. This way we can make the delivery before Holy Week. Uh, we've been finding that the, making a delivery during Holy Week is getting more difficult, so we're going to try to do it the week before. Uh, if you have any questions on the food drive, please see or contact myself uh, or Georgine Ammon, who is the chair of the ministry. So, uh, and again, thank you in your uh, support for this worthwhile, uh, this worthwhile Lenten project of ours. Uh, last year was, I think, 800 and some pounds of food. That's including the weight of the containers but still 800 and some pounds of food. Uh, so that, that is absolutely fantastic. So let us try to, let us try to do that much at least, if not more, uh, during, during this Lenten season as well. There's uh, lots of different categories. Everybody goes to the store at least every, every other week or so, if not every other day. So every time you go, pick up a little something and, and bring it on Sunday for the, uh, excuse me, for the food pantry. Remember the, uh, the only two rules is don't clean out, not, don't use this as a time to clean out your pantry. And secondly, if you would not serve it at your table, don't expect anyone or don't ask anyone to serve it at theirs. It was a good first week of the fast. We had about 17, 18 faithful here on Wednesday night. We had about a dozen, 14, something like that on Friday morning. So put those two numbers together. We're 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 right about at that 30 where we were before, uh, before the before the pandemic hit about about three four years about four years ago. It's going to be the fourth anniversary of that. So we're getting back there. We're 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 getting there. Between Wednesday and Friday, this is good. So if you have not yet been, if you did not come out last week for Wednesday or Friday, please come out again for one or both and to to um, to to help. Help out and help intensify your prayer during the Lenten season. Schedule a confession with me. I have scheduled my my week is uh, people are coming in during the week uh, on the way home from work or, they, or on the way to work or whatever uh, or scheduling with me. Please schedule. This makes it um, during the week. You don't have to wait for a Wednesday or a Friday or or a Sunday after a liturgy. But please schedule with me. Take take advantage of the time. I am offering all of you my time to be able to come in and have your uh, have your confessions heard during this Lent. So make sure that you make sure that you call me. If you don't call me and schedule, it's look in the mirror, it's 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 your fault. Uh, again, 
Um, the last day to have your confession heard will be on, will be after divine services on Holbright and Holy Wednesday. There's a lot of time between now and then. There's six weeks in between now and then. Everybody can schedule somewhere in there. So let us, let us try to get that in as well. It's a good first week. It was a good first week. Let us keep it going. Let us keep our attendance going. Hopefully your reading is going. Hopefully your whatever reading you are doing, whether it's the whether it's our the, the, the 30 steps or other Lenten reading that you are doing, whether it's the, the reading of the Psalms that you are doing or other scripture reading or lives of the saints or whatever else you are doing to intensify your, your prayer and intensify your knowledge of the faith. Keep those things going. We are praying together. On your way out the door, if you did not get your uh, pick your Lenten prayer friend card last week, please make sure you take one today. Uh, after, excuse me, one second when exits the church and has a chance to uh, take their card, whatever cards are left over in the box. Please take take one or two or three or however many however many folks that you want to pray for that may not have been here to pick up a card. So um, so let us make sure that at the end of the day that that box is empty so that everyone in the Salvation. 